The KZ DQ6 in-ear monitor is a fat sounding earphone with six units of dynamic drivers. I purchased these for around 35 New Zealand dollars on AliExpress. Since these are advertised as an in-ear monitor, I'll compare these to the Shure SE215, which is an entry level in-ear monitor at around 229 New Zealand dollars, available at most music stores. The DQ6 comes in a simple box, nothing fancy. I had already opened these before starting my channel, so the internal presentation is not what you see in the video. In the box, you'll find the left and right in-ear monitor, a silver cable, and three pairs of interchangeable ear tip sizes. In comparison, the SC215 comes with a small carry case, with three pairs of silicone ear tip sizes, and three pairs of foam ear tip sizes. KZ, however, did not provide a small carry case with the DQ6. The DQ6 comes in either silver or grey. Upon first glance, they look quite nice, sleek, simple and clean. When compared to the SE215, the KZ DQ6 just looks far more interesting and stylish, with a nice shape and design, while the SE215 looks a little bit dull and boring. Both have a translucent housing where the drivers sit, while the DQ6 also has a nice plate cover with a small vent to allow air to pass through for the three drivers. The DQ6 is much larger. It's heavier and solid compared to the SE215s. Both in-ear monitors have detachable cables. The KZ cable is around 110 centimeters in length and feels somewhat cheap and easily breakable. The SE215 has a sturdier cable and feels much more reliable, better than the KZ cable. It's also longer at around 115 centimeters in length. The SE215 uses a single dynamic driver per ear, while the DQ6 has three dynamic drivers per ear. Each side of the DQ6 houses a single 10mm double magnetic dynamic driver and two 6mm single magnetic drivers. The DQ6 costs significantly less than the SE215s and comes with more units. The SE215 sits inside the ear really nicely, flush with the ears. The DQ6 feels snug and fits really well in my ears. It sticks out a bit, but surprisingly feels like a well-fit earphone. They both feel great, but for total comfort, I would say the SC215 wins in this area. I use the same playlist and volume for both earphones, with a variety of music from rock, pop, drum and bass, electronic dance music, and funk. I notice the DQ6 has a higher volume output than the SC215. Bass guitars and kick drums are the highlight of this earphone. They're tight and fat sounding. Hi-hats, white noise sweeps, and ambient noises are also a real treat. They sound crisp and shimmer. Mid sounded balance, but not as exciting to me as the lows and highs. The SE215 has a balanced sound across all frequencies, which is great for consistency. In comparison to the DQ6, the SE215 doesn't hold up to the same tightness in the lows and lacks a bit of oomph when you need them. I do like the way rock music sounded in the SE215s though. These earphones sound great and they feel comfy. They're far cheaper than the SE215 and they look good too. In terms of use, I think the DQ6 would suit a drummer or a bass player as an in-ear monitor. They also sound great with all genres of music, but I really favoured them with drum and bass, funk and electronic dance music. Thanks for watching.